and do not die except in the condition of submission. Now, what does that mean? Do not die except in the condition of submission. It means lead your life in such a way that as you know, death can overtake you at any time. If it were to overtake you right now, would you be amongst those who are submitters unto your own creator? If the answer is yes, then you are very fortunate. Like I said yesterday, we have profiles on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and whatever else and WhatsApp and so on. Ask yourself, would I like to die with that profile on? If I were to die today and people saw the profile and my messages and what I said and all the statuses that were put up and all the messages and the pictures that I shared and whatever else I had, would I really be proud of myself? That's a very powerful question because today we have social media and you find people choose the worst to put up on that. They share sometimes things that are so embarrassing. If they were to die, their close relatives would have to hide themselves or would have to find ways of how to close that account in a way that nobody on the globe can see it. Because people would say the last picture that this brother put on his for example, account or the status he had and so on was something that was really not befitting a Muslim. May Allah protect us. So my brothers and sisters, it's an open call. You're a good Muslim. Make sure you portray yourself as a good Muslim. Live that. Someone might say, why must I do it if I'm just showing people? You are not showing people. It's for the sake of Allah. And Allah says, when you set a good example, you will receive the reward of all those who follow that example and every single one who has learned from that example. So my brothers and sisters, when you control yourself, when you discipline yourself to the degree that people learn from you and the discipline you have, you are automatically receiving a great reward. You are contributing towards the goodness of the Ummah and you are a person who definitely can be considered uh, one who is trying to be a good Muslim because if we were to set a bad example and if we were to be people who others have followed and that has led them to destruction then we will definitely be at a great loss we cannot call ourselves good people this is why when a sin is committed in private there is a greater chance of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than when a sin is committed openly so much so that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us that people will continue to have that flicker of goodness for as long as they do not openly transgress where today sometimes you find people doing something very bad and when you were to tell them my son it's not a good idea to do it so publicly and so boldly they'll tell you who are you even my father doesn't tell me that well, then I need to talk to your father. Allahu Akbar.